hello everyone in this video I will show you how to execute first servlet so first of all what we need uh, we need to install web server and for our demonstration I am using tomcat web server so you people also install tomcat and after installing tomcat the next thing uh, we will write our first servlet program so when we write servlet program we need to import these packages so first one is import javax.servlet and second one javax.servlet.http and third one we need for input output so these two packages uh, if you can see javax it means java extension and these two packages are not part of java so uh, when you install tomcat during tomcat installation tomcat actually will provide library which will supply these package next thing we need to create a class let's say our class name mm, my servlet and this class we have to extend http servlet class so this is the second step and third step in this class we need to define do get or do post method this method actually need uh, two parameter http servlet request and http servlet response so these two parameters so this request parameter actually carrying all the information from client to server so if a client wants to send anything to server that information actually bundled in this parameter and as the name implies this response parameter whatever server wants to send to client those things will be sent to client using this parameter and this method actually can throw these two type of exception servlet exception and io exception so in this method first uh, we will specify what type of content server is going to send to client so here what we are uh, specifying we are specifying we are first of all we are using response parameter because uh, we are setting content from server to client and here we are setting that server can send text type of information or HTML type of information next thing uh, in Java whenever we want to send something over network we want to read something for every input output operation there is a use of a stream so we need to create a, a stream through which a server can send information to client now whatever server want to send that will use this out very a uh, out variable and uh, print ln method will be used so here whatever we will write so let's say we are writing hello world so this is actually a html line and we have specified here that we are we can send actually text or html type of information so now we will save this file so before so how we will save it uh, on desktop let's say i am uh, saving this file on desktop i will create a new folder and you can assign any name to this folder so let's say we are giving this one first now inside this folder you have to create a folder name has to be vaven and inside this one we will create one more folder classes so this directory has to be followed for every servlet based application and in classes uh, in class actually we need to put class file for this code so we will save our program on desktop and we will save it with the same name as the class name okay now we will open command prompt and we will compile it
so here if you can see we are getting some errors uh, if you can see this one package java dot dot http doesn't exist so why we are getting because java actually don't have this package and this package is provided by tomcat web server so i am assuming you have installed tomcat on your machine so what you have to do you have to go in program files apache software foundation tomcat lib and here this is the file servlet dash api this is the library which is actually providing the packages so one thing we can do we can set a class path for this one or second thing we can do we can put this one uh, for time being on desktop and then we can compile our code by specifying class path in command from itself so what we are doing uh, let's say I'm copying this one and for time being I'm putting on so this is the file I have pasted on desktop now I will compile it so during compilation I will specify class path on command line itself so here what I have given Java C minus CP which stands for class path servlet dash API dot jar it means uh, during compilation if you need any class take from this jar file and compile our program so now our program is compiled successfully so what we will do we will take this compiled class file and we will put it in our directory classes folder so one part is done second part we need to create a xml file because every servlet uh, will be executed with a url and uh, this mapping file will link a url with a servlet so how this uh, mapping file will look so this mapping file actually will be having to uh, this opening and closing tag web app inside web app we are having servlet servlet and in servlet there are two tags servlet name servlet class so in servlet name you can give any name let's say i am giving demo servlet name and here the servlet class uh, when i compiled my code uh, it has generated a class file my servlet so here we have to specify name of our class okay so uh, this one is done the ne next one we have to specify uh, that one is servlet mapping in servlet mapping we need to give servlet name and second one we need to give url pattern so in servlet name whatever name we have specified in previous tag we will use same and in url pattern now this is uh, the url which will be assigned to your servlet so let's say i am taking a simple url my uh, let's say leave uh, my and first so the meaning of this uh, mapping file is that <coughs> we have a servlet class file and the name of this servlet we are assigning demo and here the url for that servlet is my first so we will save this file in our directory in webin folder and name we will give it web.xml save now our work is done what uh, we have to do next we will take this directory as it is and i am assuming uh, you have already started your tomcat if not what you have to do go here uh, look for monitor tomcat 
so if you can see uh, here it has started our tomcat this green symbol if you can see a red one then in that case right click and start service so in my case services are already started and then go to see again program files apache tomcat web apps so this is the place where we will put all our uh, web application so we will copy this folder here now we will open browser so in browser what we need to write we need to write url for our servlet so first of all localhost 8080 then name of our web application so the name of web application will be name of your directory so this is first and let me look at the so this is the url after specifying name of directory we need to give url so this is the complete url of our servlet so ip address of web server then port number then name of web application and then the url so if you can see uh, we are receiving this message hello world so we have successfully executed our servlet program thank you very much for watching